What's up, my glassy friends? How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. This is Glassy Gamer. I'm coming back at you with an episode of Sim Airport. Woohoo! In today's episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off. We now have two runways going. Uh, we now have four gates, and we've got a lot of people coming in here. So let's unpause this and uh, let's speed it up a tad. Uh, again, we're in sandbox mode, so we are experimenting. We're seeing how things could go for, you know, the real game. Now let's see why they're all arguing here. Why are they all arguing? Are they getting stuck at the... Stuck here? Interesting. So perhaps... The uh, security gates are just too slow? Now look, why are they all going to one gate? That's uh, the odd thing. Or one tracking area. Ah, huh, interesting. And we've got five of them set up here. So let's see how this goes. Because I believe we added some in the past. Uh, the other thing I kind of find strange is... The uh, the trash pickups, it's not happening. I mean, these guys are... Yeah, they're loading the trash, the garbage truck here. But why are they... Let's, let's kick them out. Leave. So, but why are they uh, not picking up all the trash in the building? And doing cleanups. I mean, look at the mess here. This is this is terrible. Why are they not doing that? Uh, now, it's not because I have a lack of janitors. I mean, look at them all. They're all just standing around. I, I don't know why. Maybe because there's too much space here? I, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to experiment with that some just by adding some trash bits instead. Uh, now we have a CEO and a CEO office. But why is the COO not? Well, okay, that's kind of off. Uh, they put the COO's office here instead of here. But, you know, that's okay. We're still getting research done. We're going to bank loans in a little bit. Not that we're uh, hurting our money or anything. You know, we're in a negative here. We're at 2.5 million in a hole. But, you know. We're in sandbox again. We're just trying to, to figure this game out and see what it's all about. All right, let's go ahead. I think we're going to add another gate. Uh, let's see what this this one's all set up. And what I did was I put first class on one side. And I put the coach on the other just to see what happens. Uh, to see if it helps speed things up. Because I heard that the first class takes longer to board. And it takes a little bit more effort, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm wondering, if, see, we can't really assign these gates to anything specific. But, you know, that's about the best we can do here. I mean, they're all assigned, which is great. So let's see if we're having a bottleneck now. Now, I used to have the scanners here. The body scanners seem to have taken way too long. So what I did was, I... Uh, Took them out and put the metal detectors back in because they seem to go a little quicker. But where are all my staff? I see. Oh, okay, they're right here. Gotcha. And you're just a stuck passenger. Send you home. You're you're stuck, stuck. Okay, there's nothing we can do about you. So let's see. Let's build another gate. That's what I think the next point is, is going to be. So. I'm going to put another gate right down here. And let's see. Objects. We'll go with a large gate. Spin that around. You know, we could put two. Like we want to do originally. Uh, and let's go ahead and get our glass doors in. No, not a cooker. We need our glass door. There we go. Large sliding glass door. Bam. There we go. Now we need to go ahead and put some... Uh, tables uh, take any not take any desks we need to get the agent desks put in and we'll do the same here we'll just go one here and one here and we'll do the same over here one here and one here uh just to give it a little bit more uh consistency because that's how airports look they look consistent they look, they look the same no matter where you go uh you know as far as some of the airports i've seen uh, let's go ahead and put these in did I put them that close? Yeah, I'll 
Put one here. I'll offset it a little bit. That would make it just for aesthetics. And over here. And we need to fix that floor. So let's go with the floor here. Blocked by petty construction. Yes, we understand this. Let's grab that. Have to have a floor to make it run faster. And it sounds like another plane just landed. Let's see what we have here. We're getting some big planes now. Look at these Airbus 350s. 299 passenger. Wow. So let's see how these uh, dual air dual runways work now. I'm kind of curious to see. So. Perfect. So we can have one take off and one land at the same time. That speeds things up, makes it more efficient. Plus, it's great to have more than one run runway in case you have issues. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and put the cues in. And whoop, over here. Let's do that. Six, eight, nine. And we'll go again. Get old lag here. Come on. Must have a lot of passengers in the last flight. Ah, I only want eight. Well, we'll go eight on this one. That's fine. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll clear that last one. That kind of works out because it's right where the new area is being built anyways. Come on, come on. Now I'm finding I'm getting a little bit of latency issues now. It could be because I've got a large number of passengers. Now let's take a look and see. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of people coming out in and out here. And they're all ar they're arguing. That's not good. I think we had a canceled flight somewhere. All right, let's get this one set up. All right. Now this, uh, I left a little gap in here just to see if it helps with the exiting. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but let me put some benches in. And here. Like so. And what I'm hoping is this this will uh, improve the flow. But sometimes they just seem to all just... Ah, put that just like that. Sometimes they just seem to all just pour out here. But we'll see if they can pour out here as well. If not, we'll fix it. We'll change it up. It's not a big deal. Alright, so now we need to add a sign. Any passenger. And a sign. And now we're going to make another queue. After we hire some more staff. To go assign to first class only. There we go. And of course, assign here. So that one's set. Now, why are you still have a gate shows it right here okay so it just took a second all right so we're going to do the same thing over here we're going to build our queue size three six seven eight nine wow it's lagging bad Let's see what we can do here. We'll leave it just like that. And we'll do the same here for this one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll wrap it around. Perfect. Alright, so as they're building these floors here, and doing the wraparound. 
Uh, hmm. I'm gonna leave that gap in the middle of this one too, just to see if that's what it is. Let's let's fix this one up. Just so it's uh, similar to the other one. There we go. This way we have a nice flow. All right, let's throw some benches in. Two. Ah, oh, he's still building. Build faster. All right, now we need to get some staff in here. Perfect. And assign to any passenger. Assign and assign to the gate. And this one will... No, I don't want to fire you. I want to assign you. Assign to first class only. And assign. And there we go. So this they're still building this one out, but we now have... One, two, three, four, five, six gates open. So this should really help uh, a great deal with what's going on here. Uh, trash. Just, just leave. Seriously. You're holding, you're holding traffic up. You're making people late for the flights. All right, let's take a look at the flight. Wow, look at that. 4,600. Uh, finance completed. Loans completed. Pricing. So we're waiting for the pricing. And roads are queued. And buses will do later, because we definitely want to have the upgraded buses. That'll be great. So, I think this has actually worked out pretty good. We've got, you know, the two runways. We've got all these gates. Now let's see if we can uh, book some more flights. Uh, wow, we've got flights on top of each other, quite literally. Uh, let's fix, let's clean this up. That may be part of the issue. You know, it's an afternoon one. Uh, 140, five. Well, that that is a big flight. Let's see if I can move you here. Move you here, and I'll give you a little gap. And what do we have here? Because I don't want them on top of each other. That's only 19 passengers, so that's not bad. Uh, I just want to get these big ones off of each other because... Uh, let's see. Put that one here. Bump this one up a little. 190. I mean, we could definitely land them, but I'm wondering if having too many at the same time is going to cause issue. But we'll see. So the afternoons are really booked. Uh, the evenings? Wow. Uh, let's scroll down here. The evenings have uh, seem to be doubled up as well. Let's fix that. There's some big planes coming in too. Alright. Maybe this will help a little bit. Oh, that's a lot of passengers coming in at once. Let me bump this one back some. Yeah, we'll try that. Alright, so. Since we had so many planes on top of each other all at once, I had to make some adjustments. And uh, we're definitely going to be able to handle the, the flow, I think. I think. So what's going on here with the cleanups? So you guys still aren't cleaning the trash up. Interesting. What if I just put a bunch of dumpsters here? Uh, dumpsters. Instead of having such a large area, because it seems like they're just... They're having issues. Dumpster. Why did I see that? We'll do that like so. And take the zone away. So there is none here. Maybe this way they're not going to hang out here and just sit around doing nothing. Hmm. Let's try that and see. That may be what's going on. Because they're really not doing their job here. I mean, they're really slacking off as far as cleaning. We've got a ton of cleaning staff, too. So they're still hanging out doing nothing. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay. So. No, I don't want to destroy it. So that's kind of interesting how they're doing that. They're not really cleaning? Oh, there's some more going back. I think what we need to do here is make a bigger bathroom, too. Uh, the bathroom does not seem to be accommodating for what they need. <laughs> and a security checkpoint does not seem to be all that it's cracked up to be. Uh, let's see. They are making a huge mess there. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and make a new area. Let's put ourselves further in debt. And I don't want to cover up too much space. But we'll do this. Let's let them build that area out first. Build a foundation. And uh, we're going to make a larger bathroom. Because it seems like we're having some traffic jams here. They go in. They have to go. And they're like, arg. Now the exits do seem to be working better. Uh, what's holding up the line? Now in this one I did do something different. I, I swapped the uh, the drop-offs and pickups so that the pickups are here and the drop-offs are here. So when we have a major traffic jam, the pickups are easier to pick up. But it seems what's happening is they're just running off the map if they get frustrated. Which is kind of strange. I don't know about you, but if I was at an airport, I wouldn't just walk down the road randomly. That would be kind of derpy. Let's see how research is going. 22% for road. Now, I want to add a second road that goes straight through. And I think once we do that, it'll help clear the traffic congestion up a little bit. And we can add up to three lanes, I believe. So we'll see how that works. Maybe I will add three roads just to, just to test it. Uh, I haven't done that in anything else. But let me, let's put a door here. I think that's what's happening here. They're having a problem here. There's no door. Uh, let's put a, a door here. And a door here. That way our work crew can actually go out and uh, build it. Otherwise, they have to run all the way around, I think. That's that's the problem they're running into. We don't want that to happen. Uh, oh, they're just waiting on deliveries. Gotcha. Look at all the people leaving. Now, this is not a good thing. Let's see what's happening here. Cleanliness, uh, 96% satisfied. Let's see. Needs frustration. Uh, it needs rest. So, I need to have something... Uh, to fix the hunger issue and the frustration level. So I think we need to add more food vending machines in because it looks like there's just too many going for the same one. Let's try that. Uh, food vending. And we'll drop it like so. And I'll put some more over here. And I'm not sure if they added this in the game yet, but the electronics vending, uh, I think that takes care of the boredom issue, but I don't know if they actually use it yet. But I, I put them in there just to make sure. And I hope I have enough trash bins. Yeah, I should have enough trash bins. Any traffic jams? No? Good. How are we doing here? 40% for the road. And once we get that, we'll be able to upgrade the buses and multi-lane. Multi-lane I want to get in. So two-lane roads or higher throughput. That's going to make a, that's going to be a game changer. That's going to help with this congestion here. Because I think the main issue we're running into now is we just have this huge amount of congestion. There's just not enough place to pick people up and drop people off. So they're getting very frustrated. And it's costing me a lot of, uh, you know, canceled flights be or people missing your flights. And let's see the status is here. Anything. We've got quite a few canceled. Uh, failed to reserve gate. What? 
But I've got plenty of gates here. Interesting. So maybe they had a specific gate before I added these other gates in. Now we're on the next day, so we'll see how that goes. Now that we have more gates available, and they're all functional, of course, let's take a look down here. That's why they're upset. So what happened was uh, the gates were all used, so they couldn't land a plane because these were reserved for those specific flights. So by adding three more gates, we had to wait till the next day before they scheduled at these gates versus these gates. So that'll cut back on the, you know, the traffic jam. Because uh, otherwise they can't land and they can't take off. And this is beautiful. We can have two takeoffs at the same time. And they don't hit each other. It's amazement. It's amazing. I'm waiting to see if they crash into each other next. That's going to be bad. All right. How are we doing here? All right, you're almost emptied. So the dumpsters are definitely the way to go. Uh, it, it really does pick up the speed as far as uh, getting rid of the trash. But I wonder why they're not cleaning up. That's what's uh, kind of making me wonder. Do we have enough staff? Do we have enough staff here to do that? Oh, here comes all the people coming off the buses. We need these roads now. Come on, we need these roads yesterday. All right, coming along. Let's see how our statuses are going today. So far, they're all scheduled, on route and scheduled. Perfect. And look at our passenger satisfaction. Uh, I added a bunch of vending machines, and now look at this. We're going up to 86% from 60%. So they definitely work there. And the needs environment, I put these electronic vending machines in. And electronics are usually anyway, and it does seem like it boosted it up to 81% from the 60s. So definitely drop a few of those. It looks like they are now working, so that's perfect. Uh, now I could do a cafe, but the cafes seem to be uh, they, they they don't work 100% yet. So that's why I haven't put them in. I've just been using these vending machines, but the vending machines, it's a quick quick five bucks. I mean, people come to them. Boom, they grab a, grab some food. You know, grab some food over here. And, and they're happy. They're, they're in and out. And I put a bunch of vending machines all through here. And I'm wondering if I should drop a couple more here. Oh, we got to fix this. We got some floor we didn't put in. Floor? There we go. That should help with aesthetics. I have no idea why it did this with the COO, but you know, it is what it is. Um, maybe I'll dezone that and see if it, if it fixes it. And then rezone it with office. Interesting. So. Okay, it did fix it. Good. And that broke it again. There we go. Perfect. So that, that fixed that problem. So don't if you have a hallway, don't zone it because it seems to break it. That's a good uh that's a good bug. We can, we can report that one. So it looks like they still can't unload and load fast enough. That's our major drawback here. Let's check research. 90%. We're almost there. Once we get that research done, we can start to build another gate. And I'm going to try adding one road initially and then maybe add a second road after that. And possibly, um, yeah, we'll try three lanes afterwards. Of course, I'll have to move my trash bins back three. Oh. All right. So here we go. We've got this. Let's go ahead and clear that out. And there we go. I don't know why they built a wall in front of the door. That's kind of bizarre. All right, now we can do this. We can, uh, we'll drop a floor down. We'll use this floor tile. And that's a big one. Like so. 
The lag of the people made me drag it wrong, but it's all right. We'll fix it. There. Now they'll drop a floor in, and I'm going to put a wall. Uh, is it even? It's not even. Oh, no. Let's see. So we only need a three block wide for a bathroom. So what if we do this? Put a wall here. So we cut it into thirds. We'll make a mega bathroom. And then we can open up that other area. That might actually help. Let's see how we're doing on statuses. All scheduled so far. Nothing canceled. We've got plenty of gates. We've got two runways. Places to work. There's a little guy coming in. And what I'd like to do too is upgrade the uh, the security zone. The security zone is a big deal. So maybe I'll put the CEO's office over here. And keep the CEO's office there. And make this a giant, you know, security check-in. Maybe add a bunch more gates. And we could try the scanners again, but they seem to slow things down. And that was kind of a big concern. So let's see. Well, well we can try it more. Maybe, maybe having enough of them will work. At least people aren't all going to one gate, one, uh... Metal detector this time. Last time they were just all going to one detector and getting stuck and missing their flights. Looks like the automatic ticketing is here. What's going on here? Is somebody line jumping? No, well, they're all assigned. What is going on? Oh, they're all aside. Yeah, okay, that's uh Wait, they're all first class. Let's check this one. Oh, we got to fix this. Any. 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 Oh, that's why they were angry. I think I'll make this booth uh, maybe first class only. Assigned to, unassigned, 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 and only, this is only first class. But the rest can take any. Okay, so that's kind of bizarre how they're all still piling in. That's my bad. I actually had them set to all first class instead of uh, spreading them out the way they should be. That's probably why we're getting all the ARGs. They can't check in. So they're forced to go here for these ticketing booths. Interesting. We have a big cluster of people here. All right, let's check our research and see. Multi-lane. Upgraded buses. All right, let's see if we can build a road now. Can we build a road? And we'll scroll up here. Oh, yeah, we can build a road. But not through trash cans. So let's rectify that. Oh, that's going to be expensive. That's almost expensive as, as expensive as in real life. Uh, let's fix the zones here for the trash. And the garbage. And let's bump 
that here. And I think if we have three roads, that'll look great. But let's see what we can do here. We can put uh, trash bins here. Where's the dumpsters? Dumpsters. Back up like on a dumpster here. All right, so that's going to be two roads back. Uh, I want to give it enough room, so one trash bin is one road is two trash bins. Three. Let's try that. And this way, we won't have as much. Uh, oh, cancel. We won't have as much issue with the uh, the trash getting unruly. Put the bin here. At least we've already bought these, and they're just they just have to build them. And I'll put three rows in, and I'll destroy the other. There we go. Destroy, destroy, destroy. You know, I kind of wish they had like a little click and drag to highlight a section of area you want to destroy or tell people to go home or, you know, just to highlight your employees to, to do something. You know, like say, you know, stop standing around doing nothing here. I can't I click on the dumpster. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's see how these roads are doing. These roads may take a little bit. Uh, let me add more construction staff. That'll keep them happy. Gotta get this thing built. Oh, perfect. We got our floor inside. So what I'm thinking is doing a, uh, a large bathroom here. Let's build a wall. So the bathrooms here are, you know, three wide. So we can keep that same three wide. So we'll go one, two, three. But maybe I'll make a hallway here. That might work. These unisex bathrooms are kind of bizarre. I wonder if they're going to implement a uh, you know, like a men's and ladies bathroom, just to see if uh, just to have it a little more you know functional. One, two, three, four. Put that. This will be the mega bathroom. Uh, oh, I got to fix that. Oh no. Cancel. Cancel. I gotta fix that. What do I think I have to go four in? So one, two, three, four. Our construction team's gonna be busy for a while. Go. And that actually works out perfectly. Look at that. Now, I'm going to keep it open here just so it's easier to get in and out. And uh, let's go to our resources here and fix that up. We need some toilets and sinks. There's a toilet. Yep. Cancel that. Cancel that. I thought we'd go right in the middle of the floor. Cancel that. There we go. Now they're against the wall. And this will make a... I think it'll make a difference because we have... We've had issues in the past where there's just not enough toilets that are getting frustrated and upset. Let's cancel that. these 
trees here. We'll look at the sinks on the opposite side as well. Too bad I can't just click and drag and scroll them all down. That would be great. Oh, it's saying I can't put a toilet here because it's not as old as a bathroom yet. Well, I'll fix that. Let me uh, go to zones and restroom. go and perfect now we're zoned for restrooms all right let's go back to building ladder sinks in as well there we go nice I wonder how the road construction's coming. I hear them building away. Boy, this is going to be a mega bathroom. Oh, there we go. Ah! The lag is real. So it looks like they're starting to use the road because these guys are driving on where the road will be. Even though there's nothing there yet. Which is kind of bizarre. So let's let them catch up on the building here some before we go any further. Because they have to build the walls, of course. And put the toilets in. And look at that traffic jam. That is ridiculous. Uh, research. How are we doing to research? Multi-lane. Can we add another road in? Just want to see. Oh, we can. Let's drag that all the way through. Oh, that's going to be an expensive, laggy road. Almost there. Bam. Oh, look at that. That was an expensive one. Now we have to put another expensive one in. But they haven't destroyed these yet. Let's drag that down through. There we go. And I think this will help with the people just take it off. And having the multi-lane access is is really going to make a difference. Now, why is that stopping at the at red, green? Pick your mind. Make your mind up. Come on, green, red, red. Uh, I'll leave it for now got to be built yet and what can we do here this is where we're getting the issues heading construct yep they still have to take those dumpsters out so wait till they uh, will take care let them take care of that I thought I decided these to be destroyed they haven't done it yet There we go. So this is... Right now it looks like a big mess, but... Uh, we're eventually going to have that three-lane road coming in. We're going to have the mega bathroom built. Uh, we're going to expand the uh, uh, security area. And I think I'm going to move the CEO's office over. And uh, possibly expand the uh, the ticketing area oh they're not the zone let's fix that ticketing let's do this I did not even notice that it wasn't even zoned for ticketing on the last two booths so let's hope that fixes that issue all right so I think I'm actually gonna wrap up this episode right here this is Glass the Gamer. I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so already, please subscribe and stay glassy. Bye-bye.